Ever print something only to see it drooping, sagging, or failing? That's because of bad supports or weak bridging. Today I'll show you how to set up perfect supports and dial in bridging settings in both Bamboo Studio and Orca Slicer for clean, strong prints. Let's dive into it. Not every print needs supports, but generally overhangs over 45 degrees will start to droop without them. Here's how to decide. Bridges under 10 millimeters, no support needed. Overhangs above 45 degrees, you might need supports. Large bridges, use bridging tuning instead of supports. Pro tip, avoid unnecessary supports since they waste filament and increase the print time. Bamboo Studio and Orca Slicer have several support types. Here's what works best. Tree supports use less material and are easier to remove. Standard supports are good for most prints but are harder to remove. To auto-generate supports, enable the supports and choose the type you want. For tree supports, choose Tree Auto. And for normal supports, choose Normal Auto. And then slice to get your supports. Auto-generated supports are easy, but not always the best. Here's how to place them manually for best results. First, choose Manual Supports from the Support Settings. Then select your item and choose Paint Supports. Rotate it so you can see the bottom and you have a couple options. The first is to use the uh, Paint tool and paint where you'd like supports. You can also use Fill and select the threshold. I selected 50 degrees for the overhang and then use the Fill tool here to select where I wanted my supports to be. Once done, you can slice it like normal and the slices will be placed where you specified. Supports are great until they won't come off. Here's how to make them easy to remove. Lower your support density. Less material equals easier removal. Increase the support Z distance. A gap of 0.2 to 0.4 millimeter helps them snap off. Print some Z distance test prints to determine the optimal settings that deliver optimal quality and ease of removal. A good starting point is 0.275 millimeters. Lastly, use a sharp tool or pliers for a clean finish. Bridging is when your printer prints in midair. If done right, it saves material and looks super clean. To get the best quality bridges, use dry quality filament. Try lowering your printhead temperature by 5 degrees. Check your fan settings. Make sure the force cooling for overhangs and bridges are set. Decrease your bridge speed, which will help reduce sagging. Adjust the flow ratio. Try decreasing it by 5 to 10%. Supports and bridging can make or break your print. Now you know how to get them perfect. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next video in this series, which will be coming out in a week or two.